Hey guys, welcome to this video. In our previous video, we explained how to model hydrostatic bulge test as an axisymmetric process in abacus. We have explained about modeling in part module and property module, and in this video, we will complete this modeling by going through all of the modules of the abacus software. The next module that we will explain is assembly module. In assembly module, you could import your parts and assemble them together in a way that you like. By create instance, you could import your parts. You could choose all of your parts together or one by one, and you could choose independent means that changes do not does not depend on the parts from now or dependent to part and auto offset uh, able you to offset your parts there are some icons here like translating rotating we choose translation and translate blank under the die for translation after picking the part we should define a start point and end point for translation Top of the blank is the start point and bottom of the die is the end point. The translation is okay. You could see that there is a distance in R direction, but in asymmetric modeling, all of asymmetric axes will lie in one axis and there is no problem here. The next module of the software is the step module. In a step module, you can define the solver type based on the type of your problem. If I create a step, we can choose one of these different step type. Uh, this problem can be solved by a static general or dynamic explicit procedure. We choose a static general for the first video, then continue. Here we have some setting. Time period means the duration of the process and has no meaning here. We can choose nonlinear geometry, which means this problem is nonlinear. In incrementation, we can set the incrementation duration. We can choose fixed or automatic by the software. We choose automatic and we increase the maximum number of increments. And also, we reduce the initial duration of the increment, the size of the first increment, and we also reduce the size of the maximum size of the increments, and then the step is complete. We also could set some output here, like field output and history output. We could request this output also in this module. The next module is the interaction module. In interaction module, we can define different type of interaction between parts. At the first, by create interaction property, we define property of our interaction. This property could be mechanical, thermal, or electrical. In mechanical, we define tangential behavior as frictionless. We also could define normal behavior or different type of thermal behavior or electrical behavior here. In the next step, we create our interaction between two parts, die and blank. Here, surface to surface contact between die and blank. And then we should choose master and slave surfaces. The master surface usually is rigid, and we choose the die, the yellow side of the die, and then we should choose top surface of the blank at this and as this slave part. And we have some setting here, finite sliding and interaction property and then OK. In this module, we could also define some constraint interaction between parts. 
The next module is no load module. In load module, we define boundary condition for the model. By create boundary condition, we can define essential boundary condition by displacement for our model. By the first option, symmetry and symmetry, we can fix or define symmetry boundary condition for parts. We choose the die and fix all of the degree of freedom of this part. Translational and rotational degree of freedom. After that, we also fix the edge of the blank. Because this edge is between two dies and has no displacement, we totally fix this edge also, like the die, by infested. After that, we should apply pressure to one side of the blank. By create load, we define pressure in one side of the blank to form it. Create load, choose the name and continue. Select the bottom of the blank and enter the value for pressure which is 9 megapascal here. The unit is megapascal in our simulation. We also can create a, um, an amplitude for the load by create amplitude but we choose ramp here and then we will continue by the mesh module. In mesh module you can define some setting like element size and element type and then discretize your parts. Die part doesn't need to an image because this is analytical rigid and we, all, we only define mesh for the blank. At the first we should define mesh controls by assign mesh controls and selecting the part part of blank we choose quadrilateral elements against triangular they are more precise and then structured type of elements after that we can define the size of element we should use at least four elements along the thickness of the part like blanks to have acceptable results After that, we assign element type for the blank. Our solver is a standard and then the family is axisymmetric stress, that's okay. We choose linear element because they are better for forming problems than quadratic elements. And radius integration elements is better for forming and prevent shear lag. After that, we can mesh the part, and this is the meshed part, and no need for meshing the die. The next module is job module. We can create job and manage it in this module. Also, there is some other icon here that we will explain in our next videos. Create job. The name as of job is really important because this name will be the name of most of your files that the software create and then continue. We have some setting here like parallelization. In parallelization, we can define more than one processor to accelerate our solving the problem and then we can submit the job before submitting the job remember to set directory for uh, your files you could define a path here for your files and after that submit the job after submitting the job you could monitor the progress of the job in this window. In this window, we can see how many increments are using to solve this process. 
for example here we can see 59 increment was were used to solve this problem and time period is one and the process is finished then we can see the result by going to the visualization module in visualization module we can see the stress strain and other contours of the problem here is the deformed part the shape is dome and we can see different parameters like stress strain plastic strain I choose plastic strain we have four components for strain and stress in axisymmetric problems I plot one one strain and then stress for example one one stress or minimizes stress we also could animate the process of forming or we can see frame by, by frame deformation of the part each frame is a result of an increment we can go to the last frame and see any contour that we are interested in I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you want more videos of Abacus software you can find it in our channel if this video helped you out Please let us know by a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that will be very much appreciated. See you in the next video.